So we're here at our Mill Creek Orchard of the Future block. Um, for those of you who haven't been watching these videos, this is a block that we planted crimp six rootstock as little plugs and we've grown these trees that you see here now. And then we just budded these about a month ago over to our two scion varieties that we have here that we're going to grow as uh, sleeping eye buds. So we budded them at the uh, end of August and we're at the end of September now and uh, we're removing the tape from these trees and um, seeing how the buds look. And we've had an excellent, excellent bud take over over 95 percent probably close to 99 percent actually we have 10,000 trees planted and uh, we have less than 100 that the buds didn't take um, so what I want to show you is uh, this is uh, a good thing and a bad thing about crimps trees the crimps rootstock is hypersensitive to viruses what I like about that is that it's very unlikely that virus would spread easily in a crimps block because any tree that gets infected with the virus um, immediately dies. But it also makes sourcing your budwood ch a challenge because there are many, many budwood sources are not virus free. So what I want to show you is what happens when you hit virus. Um, as we look right here at this, um, at this bud on this tree, um, this bud right here is a healthy bud. So you can see that the, um, that the, the um, tree is healed really well around this bud uh, that we budded in here. And it's going to do, this bud come spring is going to grow very nicely for us. It has a well healed uh, wound. It's um, nice and uh, plump looking still. And uh, this bud is, uh, is a success, as are most of the buds here. But what we have here where these blue flags are at is we have a line of trees, um, 10 trees or so, that we had virus in the budwood. And so what happened was one of the branches from one of our source trees um, had virus in it. And uh, let me show you what it looks like. And the reason we suspect this is because there's usually 10 or 12 buds uh, per um, cutting that we take from a mother tree that we use to bud. So we're going to look down right here and look at the difference in, in this bud. See the, see the gumming that is occurring here um, along, along the budwood? And the budwood is all dry and uh, gummed. And so we just have a whole row of these where the, where the buds um, have, uh, have died. And I wanted to just show you what it looks like when you have virus on crimp six. And you can actually see that um, the, there's necrosis. The tissue of the tree has died below and above the bud. Um, that's really typical of what we see when we get virus into into our budwood here. So, I uh, hope this was informative for you. We did test our source wood for virus before we, before we started using it, but we use many, many trees and you test a representative sample of them. And every once in a while you're gonna have this where you miss a tree in a block that has virus um, and your source some virus.